Okay, so as you can see where I left off, I've I've done a little bit of work today. Um, basically, all I did was knock this piece out and glue it on. Uh, if you ever need weight, a glass of change, good way to weigh things down. So don't drop it on your toe. All right. I glued this up earlier today. I uh, had that sitting up there. had this clamp on here basically as a, a kickstand. Because... Come on, let go. Because as you can see, sitting in this here without all the parts in here, this thing... First time I, I set up the thing up here, fell right off. So I had to get some ingenuity and use a clamp, figure out how to do a kickstand real quick. There we go, all right. Um, so where are we at now? Basically, as you can see on the, on the destructions, um, it shows to do the step that I'm about to do before you glue this on here. Everything here is, is done before you put this on. So I'm kind of doing something different. Now, that being said, again, John Aliprontis is the guy that I'm uh, watching his videos and making my build off of his stuff. Um, even John does this a little different than what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. So John takes these pieces and he lays them out like so, cuts the piece, but he does a full piece. And then he comes back through and he cuts to put in each of the lines. So if you notice on here, this step here shows putting in the lines and then putting in the nail marks. So you end up with this pattern here. Uh, and then you varnish. All right. So I have uh, already, I already know for a fact with making my Gundam, making my other models, uh, scribing lines is not something I'm very good at. So cutting lines in this deck crossways is not something I want to try to do. I'll screw it up. I already know I will. I've done it a hundred times. I still can't. So what I spent this morning doing, aside from this was the last thing I did. The other thing that I did was I sanded all of these pieces down and also the front. So all of this is, I've already sanded all the way around to get these pieces ready for, for planking. The other thing that I did was I cut a bunch of pieces for the decking. Now, if you look, each one's painted black around the edges. So basically what I did was, once I cut them to size, so I've got one piece here that I used as a guide. And I laid this up. Essentially, this is exactly how I did it. Woo. All right, that was almost disastrous. That was my exacto knife that just fell in between my legs. As soon as the, that rolled off and went whoop, right into he gets. So anyway, and then I just do that over and over and over. And if they're not straight, I'm not too concerned about it. Because uh, when I assemble this, if there's a little bit off, I can just quickly trim. 
But see already right there, there's a couple more. I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of these. I'm not gonna, that's the extent of what I'm showing you right there on the, oh, come on. So that's, that's it. And you can, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, for the most part, it's pretty square. Um, as I put these back together in the decking, if there's a little bit of play in this, I mean, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that went back together. And as I'm putting it together, it looks like on this inside that there's a little bit too high, but once you get it in there, it's fine. Um, hey, hey, hey. Do not attack the dog. You're fine, Mo. Damn, cat just jumped up and... <laughs> Is he in your spot? Or is she in your spot? <sighs> Animals. Anyway. So, that's how I cut them. Then I put them together like so. I took my... A big Sharpie here and then paint it around the edges. All right. And the reason why I paint it around the edges is to simulate the color. One, you'll see what I'm out of what I, what's going to happen once I put all these down side by side and whatnot. Okay. And once I sand everything down. <clears throat> so, uh, obviously I didn't video any of that because you guys who wants to sit and watch somebody pink pink i sure don't but anyway so where i'm at is essentially i'm gonna have to put all those on down here i'm gonna have to sand the top of this down uh because even on doing this you can see on here let me get in here real quick uh, you can see, is that, come on, you can, all along this edge here, uh, it's kind of messy, so obviously it'll have to be sanded down some and cleaned up, um, which is not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Had a quick little break there. I'm back, and I'm already working on putting the deck pieces down. I'm gonna run one full line the length of this. Now earlier in my last, the bulkhead video, here's change number 6,000. I don't even know what, cause I stopped counting on all the changes of my plans. Um, what I would had talked about doing was framing in other words, running pieces like this all along this edge and following the line. If you can somewhat see this. Of the, the outline of the outer circumference. Not really circumference because it's not circular. Outer edge of the deck. So I was looking uh, ahead in the, uh, those. Um, it'd be pretty much pointless for me to do that. Here's why. Uh, each one of these ends, you can see these holes here. There's pieces that go here. So there's nothing here to, um, this will all get covered up. So I, it'd be pointless to frame this. If I frame this where these rock, these pieces here are going to be, that might throw, I don't know, I'd have to, basically this has to, I could frame it and then run little pieces to get the elevation of the wall correct because that wall is going to sit on top of this decking and I could do it to where it would look there, but honestly, um, where this wall is, the upper deck is going to be like way over here. So it's going to be way underneath and you're never going to see it. And it's the same thing with these upper decks. 
there's going to be pieces that are eventually are going to be on the upper decks that even if I framed it, where's this at? Let me find this photo real quick in here. This back upper deck right here, there's a piece that goes all the way around this. So even if I frame the deck out, it'd get covered up. I don't know if you can see that well enough or not, but this piece here, that'd completely cover up whatever I frame out. Um, so I decided not to do any types of framing. You can really see it very, really well here that this piece completely, so if I frame that, you, you'd next, you still wouldn't see it. So it's pointless to try to frame anything is on this one. Um, I may end up doing it on my USS Constitution, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, where I'm at right now, and I'm just using my wood glue, putting a very small bead of glue down. These things are hard as heck to hold on to. They constantly flip out of my hand. Uh, can you see that? That's about all the glue I'm using. I'm not putting way too much. I could use CA glue, which I have activator as well. I went and found my stash in the basement. Um, so I could use that. Uh, the, the thing that I... I don't want to, I don't want to use um, super glue. Main reason being is since I'm doing these pieces and I need them to, I need to be able to move them a little bit. This sets up fast enough that once I put it down, let me get all these other little pieces off of here. All right. I just put this piece down just a little bit ago. Um, let's see, I can still manipulate these, tweak them a little bit. Uh, this one here, I don't know if you can tell, there's no movement in that. And then I did this less than a couple minutes, right before I turned my, my thing on and, and was sitting here yammering for a little bit. Um, so they set up fairly quick enough to where you don't really have to worry about it. You got, if you put too much on, then it'll sit there and wander, wobble around and, and whatnot, but put on just the right amount and they, they're not going to go anywhere. I don't know if that's, uh, working with the, this style of glue that I've learned. Ugh. This is, that's how my day's going. I drop this glue side down in the guck. I have a very hard time holding on to these little pieces. These fat fingers. And half of my glue. Come on, there you go. But I don't know if you can see just that little little bead there's already glue here but you can see on my desk half that glue is gone so i added a little bit more and used a finger and try not to get it all off on my fingers Voila. So that's basically the process. And I'll go down and I'll finish this one out. Uh, and then I can just start working my way back and forth until this entire thing's done. Um, I think that's, I'll work on this tonight. Um, today is, let's see, I haven't given a time hack yet. It's Monday the 8th at 8 o'clock. 
So most likely I'm only going to work on this for maybe 20 or 30 more minutes. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll get up. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't, I don't think I have anything on my schedule for tomorrow. Today I had to get my hooves trimmed uh, and a haircut. Got my new beads in. Got my new braids. So... Halloween's over, so I took the skulls out and put my black sun back in. So, um, anyway, I think that's going to be about it for tonight. I'm not going to really sit in video, I mean, sitting here doing this. Now, if you guys want to watch, like, my last, my first video of the bulkheads and everything was 49 minutes long. And I only put nine minutes of that on Sorry, I need to learn not to put my hand on here to shake the camera. Uh, but anyway, did I just say my knee, my elbow? Um, if you guys are interested in seeing all of my stuff and listen to me blather on, let me know. I'll put it on there or I'll put a, an additional long version of it and a short version. Um, either way. But I, my assumption is that most people just kind of want to, yeah, you're making some progress. And already in, uh, this is day four that I, since I started this. So actually day three of the, cause I really didn't do much yesterday. I, I cut a bunch of these and I was sanding on that yesterday. So I really didn't do much of anything yesterday. Um, so day three, I kind of prepped um but we'll count today as day three and four days overall since the start so i want to keep two different you know how many days overall did it take me to do and how many days did i actually work on it so we'll see start to finish how long this is going to... Ooh, that just slid. I should have gotten my table salt. My lights are kind of not helping me tonight. Now you can kind of see how uh, dark those lines are. Um, once I get all of this in here and down, I'll sand this down real good so this black should be more subdued. Um, and and the main reason why I'm doing it, as you can tell in this this photo of this, you can barely see it on camera. Um, I don't know if I can get this in here close enough. All right. You can barely tell that. And they didn't blacken their edges or anything like that. Um, it shows up a little bit more when you varnish it. Uh, but I think by doing this, the guy, like I said, I watched a video of someone doing this, this, this process that I'm doing. And after he sanded it, it looked kind of rough before he sanded it, but after he sanded it, it looked really good. So this is, again, my first attempt at doing this. So we'll find out if I'm right or wrong. I think it'll look good. At least I hope it will look good. It's a... The process is much longer than just putting pieces out there. And hopefully these will stay. I'm, my hope is that these will stay glued. I think they should. This should, I, th I think this will go pretty quick, to be honest. 
Uh, the only thing that I got to remember is to cut these pieces out before I completely uh, cover them up. Because, right, I've already covered half of the mast up here and here. And I'm getting close. And see, since I'm not putting a whole lot of glue on there, there's virtually no squeeze out on this at all. I mean, you can, you can look down through there. There's none whatsoever. That looks really weird. That one right there. Wow. On camera, that looks like it's just like, whoop, sticking way out, but it's not. That's crazy. That one. It's standing up a little bit. Is that rolling up or is that just... Hmm. I think that's just that grain. What do you think so far? I don't know if that's worth it or not, but uh, at this point, I'm, I'm almost positive the end result. I'll be, I'll be justified when it's all said and done. So, uh, from here on out, I think I'm gonna knock out a video real quick. Um, Show a little bit of progress. What's sad is I'm, I've had my other model for over a year. I've had this one for four days and I've already made poor, more progress on this one in four days than I have on the other in a year. So that's kind of funny, I think. So, these are a little off. This one here, right there, I'm a little bit off. I don't know if I push this one in far enough. That's the only thing about doing this this way. Um, that if these get too far off, I don't know if you can see that or not. Luckily with the dark lines, let me see if I can get in here. You can see there's a little teeny tiny, nice and tight over here by this one. And there's a little bit of a gap over here. use one of these clean ones see if you can see it a little bit better still can't see it hmm anyway we'll see what happens so I'm gonna finish up this uh, tomorrow Tomorrow afternoon, hopefully, I'll do a video on building these cabins and putting the upper decks on, um, which may or may not be, I'm not sure. I know for a fact that once I put these pieces on, then I have to do this process on all of the faces of these before I can put the deck on. So tomorrow's... Uh, project may just be putting these lowers and getting these lowers finished uh also i'll have to finish this um as far as putting these down sand all this and then uh i'll have to put the nail 
the faux nail imprints in each one of these and then stay, um, varnish this to, to get it nice and protected. Uh, so I got a lot of steps to do. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the actual upper decks, which I still have to do this process on the upper decks as well. So a lot of steps, a lot of things going to be happening over the next few days. Um, so I, I'm very nervous. This is the part that I'm, I'm very apprehensive about this part. I just, I don't want to screw up. That's the biggest thing. So anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. Uh, thanks for, if you sat here and watched through 18 minutes of this, um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, and the other part, which I don't even know how long that part was. So 18 minutes, you've seen six or seven pieces. So I'm going to call it a night. I'll hurry up and knock this video out and get it out and um, hope you all enjoy it. See a little bit of progress. The next few days should be much more progress, though. So uh, with that, I'm going to say thanks and good night. It's quarter after eight. Y'all have a great night. Thanks.